Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to sideload some of the jailbreak IPAs on your guys' iDevice. And I know it's been so long since I made a video, but I promise I'm going to be back very soon as a big recovery for this channel. So with that being said, guys, let's get straight into this video. This video is brought to you by Winscribe. Winscribe is a VPN that lets you mask your internet identity without any worries for companies and individuals to track you. They have super cheap plans, and if you use the link below, you'll get an extra gig of bandwidth with your free plan. Just sign up and confirm your email down below. All right, so one of the first things you guys will need to download and install on your guys' computer, if you guys do not already have it, is iTunes. Another thing that you guys will need to also install on your PC before this is the iCloud application. So if you guys want, go ahead and click on the link inside of the description to go to the Apple website and download the iCloud manager for Windows. Now once that is there, you can go ahead and click on the third link inside of the description and you guys will be brought to Alt Store. So this is the application that will be allowing us to sideload applications to our iDevice. So one of the things that you're gonna need to do is click on the Windows Beta down below, install that on your computer, and then you guys do not need to run it just yet. After that, click on the link below, and then you guys will be brought to the Alt Server Patcher EXE file. So once that is here, go ahead and just drag it to your desktop or wherever you guys have everything installed, and make sure Alt Server is closed beforehand. So if it is open, for example, like here for me, go ahead and click it and then hit close. So next thing you want to do is click on the Alt Server Patcher EXE file, hit yes. And then utility to install might be on alt store as default, but of course you guys are going to want to install Uncover, Chimera, Electra, or whichever IPA that you guys want to sideload. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to sideload Uncover on your guys' iDevice. So just click on Uncover, hit Patch, wait for it a second, and then it'll say alt server has been patched to the IPA file. Hit OK, and you can close out of that. After that, hit Alt server. Go ahead and let that launch up. There's going to be no GUI that opens up first, but in the bottom right hand corner, there will be a little alt store icon that you guys can click. Hit install alt store, and then your iPhone device name will pop up. If it's not already connected, go ahead and connect it now. And then once it is connected and detected by your computer, go ahead and click on that iDevice you're trying to sideload it to. So go ahead and enter your iTunes email and password right here hit install and then it'll say apps installed with alt store will stop working do you want to continue just hit ok and if you guys have two-factor authentication a pop-up window will come up and it will ask you to enter the six digits that you guys will need to enter after that hit install again and then there will be a little pop-up window on the bottom right hand corner that says it is now installing on your guys's iDevice now for some reason since this is the second time I'm doing this within the past like five minutes there's going to be no pop-up since I'm pretty sure it already knows that this is actually me installing it on my iDevice. So in this case, just wait a couple minutes. It might take a roughly around two to three minutes for it to install, and then it'll pop up on your guys' iDevice, as well as a pop-up window on the bottom right-hand corner indicating that it is installed on your iDevice if you guys are not paying attention. All right, so as you guys can see, the Uncover application is now installed on my iDevice and it will be locked with your guys' Apple ID. So what you guys wanna do is go ahead and go into Settings, General, and Profiles and Device Management, and then go ahead and accept and trust your guys' iTunes account. Now once that is done, go ahead and go and open up the application again. And then as you guys can see, it is loaded perfectly, working well, and you guys will be to, able to jailbreak once again. So with that being said, guys, this is it for this video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also, subscribe to get videos just like this in the future. And I'm going to be making a ton more since I am not away from school anymore. And I have a lot more free time on my hands. So keep that in mind. And don't forget to also follow me on my Twitter page down below to be informed on anything new with the whole jailbreaking scene. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.